Hey there, it's Lori here. I'm stopping in today to talk a little bit about the Share Handmade Kindness Challenge um, over at Jennifer McGuire's blog. Um, this challenge has really given me a push to start sending cards. I have to admit um, I am not good at sending cards. I make them all day long and they sit in a pile in the corner which I'm not going to show you because it's a little bit crazy. But I'm hoping over the next few months that this pile will get smaller and smaller. I'm definitely excited to start sending out cards and I've made a little spot on my desk that is going to make uh, mailing just a little bit easier. So I have, I'm calling this my mailing station. Uh, this is a three slot uh, fridge bin. It's just the tiered, I'm not sure exactly of the name, but I know you can get it on Amazon. And I filled each tier with something that is just going to make it easier to grab what I need and get something into the mail. So let me show you what I've got in here. The first thing is my postage stamps I have here in the back. And then I have a stack of A2 size envelopes, and I, over here I have a pen. Um, I've also added some stamps. Um, this is the A Bit of Kindness to Brighten Your Day from Hero Arts. Back here I have a little uh, post-it note just to make a list of cards that I want to send. And then I have um, some kindness enclosed. These are just ad little adhesive um, envelope stickers on, and I'm going to show you in a second how I made these. And then I have a stack of stitched rectangle um, card inserts, and I'm going to show you too what I do with these. This is just regular typing paper cut out, um, and I keep those in here. In the front, I have my Bossy Jossy address stamp. Um, if you don't have an address stamp from her, I would highly recommend heading over there. These stamps are just fun stamps with a great font for your name and address. I also have her Happy Mail stamp and then I also have my blog address and name to stamp on the back of the cards that I make. So all three from from Bossy Jossy and those are really fun stamps to have. I've also added in a couple of rolls of washi and this basically is it. Oh and the Share Handmade Kindness stamp set of course I've got that right here so it's easy to grab. So the first thing um, I want to show you these uh, little labels. I have a couple different kinds in here. The first, um, I cut out a cardstock. This is just a stitch circle die, and um, it's the smallest one in this set. The kindness enclosed stamp fits just perfectly inside. Now, obviously, these you'd have to use adhesive to stick to your envelope, but it just adds some color, so it's always fun to add a little color. You could obviously just stamp the envelope as well, but these stickers just make just another fun little touch. Then the other kind I have are just these adhesive label. I ran the eight and a half by eleven through my cameo and cut out these inch and seven eighths stickers. And I have some in different colors, inks. Obviously, you could emboss these, um, or you can just stamp them in black. And I thought it would be handy to just stamp a bunch of these, put them in this little envelope. I have this little. A Ziploc bag. I think this is probably something that I, when I bought a die, the die came in this. I never throw these away. I always hold on to them. So this is the perfect place to use this. I'm going to keep all these little stickers right inside here so when I do get ready to mail a card, I can just stick that right on an envelope. So I want to show you too. These are just stitched rectangle die cuts out of typing paper. One thing I have done over the years, uh, when I send a card, sometimes it's fun to get a card and be able to reuse it, especially if you're sending it to someone who doesn't make their own cards. Normally I would just use a post-it note, but I like the white and I can never find white post-it notes. It's fun to have a little stitched detail inside the card. So this is where the washi comes in. Just going to take a little piece of washi and just put that right on the inside of the card and then I can just write uh, my message to the person that I'm sending the card to and then when they want to use the card, if they want to reuse the card, they can take the message out and then they have a handmade card to send on to someone else. So 
I like to have that hair already cut out and ready to go. So I just wanted to share uh, my little mailing station and I hope that you found this helpful. If you have any questions, definitely don't hesitate to ask and thanks so much for stopping in.